six days until Americans cast their vote on Election Day. Atlanta News first political reporter Doug Reardon is at the Georgia Tech campus for us. The debate there in June shook up the entire race, Doug. Yeah, it's the reason tomorrow night's debate will feature a different Democratic candidate than the one here did. Because this debate here in Atlanta in June led to Joe Biden dropping out of the race, there was a lot more anticipation than usual over tomorrow night's showdown between Donald Trump and Kamala Harris. Uh, it's definitely a, a really unique situation and uh, very high stakes. High stakes because tomorrow's presidential debate in Pennsylvania will be the only matchup between Donald Trump and Kamala Harris as they both vie for the White House. Georgia State University political science professor Larry Grubb says it's been a big year for presidential debates, given that the last one changed the course of the race entirely. We've never seen a candidate struggle uh, the way that President Biden did in his performance during the debate. And we've never seen such volatility in the polls as a result of the impact of a debate. But this time, Trump and Biden's replacement, Vice President Kamala Harris, are dead even in the polls. Yes, I think there's a lot of excitement and interest in this debate. Emory politics professor Zachary Peskowitz you know, says with early yeah, voting starting in just a few weeks in many states, including Georgia, Tuesday's debate will be one last chance for the candidates to talk directly to voters in an unscripted setting. There really is this window of the next uh, you know, three to six weeks for the candidates to you know, make one last impression and, and try to sway those those votes. I and in a time where a few thousand votes can mean winning and losing a state, every a vote matters. People. Given how close the outcome was last time in Georgia and Arizona, I just think uh, anything, even if it only changes a few minds, could be really important. Mm -hmm. And over the next few days, the campaign trail is coming here to Georgia. Gwen Walls, the wife of Democratic VP nominee Tim Walls, will be campaigning here in the state this week. And then one week from today, on the 16th, GOP vice presidential nominee J.D. Vance will be in Atlanta for a fundraiser. From Georgia Tech in Midtown, Doug Reardon, Atlanta News First.